Now, anytime something is standardized, um, that means that it makes it applicable like across the board, okay? Standardized tests. Those are tests that are made somewhere else besides like at the school so that they're the same for everybody that takes them. Either the state makes them or uh, the country makes them, uh, whatever it may be, whether it's the ACT, the uh, SAT, your integrate tests, those are standardized tests. They're supposed to be the same for everybody. Um, so here, the standardized value tells you how many standard deviations a given value lies from the mean of a distribution. Um, so for example, from problem one, part B, Alexis is three standard deviations above average in height. So we would say her standardized height is three. Uh, in part C, Marvin was 2.1 standard deviations below average, so his standardized height is negative 2.1. So the positives and the negatives indicate whether you're above or whether you're below. Um, so a little formula here, we used it yesterday, we just didn't uh, formalize it. The standardized value, we call it a Z. Okay, it's uh, indicated by a Z. It's, your, it's also called a Z-score. Okay, uh, it's equal to X is your value, whatever it is, whether it's height or whatnot. Mu, you know, is the population mean. Uh, sigma is the standard deviation. Okay, so um, X is your value, whatever it may be. I think I've got a place for this somewhere on your paper. Uh, mu is the population mean, and sigma here is your population standard deviation. Okay. So standardized value, you need to know that. Okay, your value minus the mean divided by the standard deviations, that gives you your standardized value or how many standard deviations you are away from the mean. It's not always going to be a whole number as we saw yesterday. Okay, so 